Hello and welcome to the continuation of the Tri Rating Map Evaluation Exam Training. This project is run on behalf of several companies such as TELUS, OneForma, Peroptics, CrowdGen, also known as Appen, and others. Depending on which vendor you apply through, you might see the exam labeled as Data Analyst, Milky Way Mars, or Kuiper. Don't be confused, they're all simply the Map Evaluator exam on the Tri Rating platform. Before we get started, a quick disclaimer, this content is for learning and informational purposes only. It is not created, supported, or endorsed by Tri-Rating, TELUS, OneForma, Peroptics, or Appen in any way. I will have to speed up the recording of this video so that it doesn't get too long. So just pay attention to the details. You might want to reduce the playback speed of the video if you wish. If you need an experienced map rater to take the exams for you, you can click on the WhatsApp link in this video description. I can guarantee you a 100% pass. Also like this video and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when a new video drops. Now let's talk about why map evaluation matters. Think about using Google Maps or any navigation tool. When you search coffee shop near me, you expect to see businesses that actually exist are currently open and are placed on the correct street with the right name. That's exactly the kind of accuracy that map raters help maintain. In this training we'll cover how the tri rating platform operates, how to determine user intent, how to judge results for relevance, accuracy, and pin placement, and best practices to ensure your work stays consistent and professional. Whether you're new to map evaluation or have some experience, this walkthrough will give you the foundation you need to pass the exam. 1. Understanding user intent. The first step in rating results is identifying what the user wants. This is called user intent. Types of queries include address queries e.g. 717 El Camino Real, Sunnyvale, business queries e.g. Starbucks Yaba Lagos, category queries e.g coffee shops near me or gyms nearby. Transit queries, e.g., bus stop Maryland. Emoji queries, such as for pizza or for gas. There are two kinds of intent. Explicit intent, crystal clear. For example, Barclays Bank Lester. Implicit intent, requires context. Example, if the query is simply Chinese, the system uses the user's location or viewport to figure out whether they want Chinese restaurants nearby. As a rater, you'll need to combine the query, the user's position, the viewport, and your judgment to decide the most likely intent. If it's not clear, you may need to research using trusted sources such as government directories, official websites, or postal services. 2. Relevance. Once intent is determined, the next step is to check relevance. Relevance means how well a result actually answers the user's request. Here are the categories. Navigational, only one unique answer fits, like Eiffel Tower. Excellent, perfect match to intent, but not unique. Good, partially matches but has limitations like distance or secondary intent. Acceptable, technically matches, but in a weak or unlikely way. Bad, does not match at all. Examples. Query, Starbucks Paris 75002. If the result shows a Starbucks at that exact address equals excellent. Query, fast FOD, misspelled, results showing fast food restaurants equals excellent, because intent was understood. Query, New York's the city itself equals navigational, but New York pizza would be lower because it doesn't match the main intent. Note. Even if a business is permanently closed, you still rate relevance as though it were open. Accuracy is judged separately. 3. Pin Accuracy Pin placement is one of the most critical aspects of map evaluation. The tip of the pin, not the head, shows the exact location. Is the pin placed on the correct building? On a large campus, like a university, is it at the main entrance or correct complex? For houses, is it on the correct number? For parks or rivers, does it line up with the actual feature? Common problems. Pins dropped on the wrong building. 
Pins sitting in the road. Pins on the wrong side of the street. If it's clearly incorrect, mark it wrong. If you can't confirm with confidence, mark it can't verify. Remember, pin accuracy is judged separately from relevance. A listing can be perfectly relevant but fail if the pin is misplaced. 4. Navigational queries. Navigational queries are when the user is asking for one unique result. Examples. Taj Mahal. Union Bank Marina Lagos. Charing Cross Station London. Only one result can fully satisfy intent in these cases. Ask yourself, does a real-world result exist that exactly satisfies this query? If yes, rate it navigational. Other results might still be excellent or good, but only one is the true navigational target. Tip. Navigational queries are rare for category searches. Example, restaurants in New York, not navigational because multiple valid options exist. 5. The rating tool. When rating you'll see. The query header, user search, location, viewport. The result list, with name, address, category, and pin. The map view, showing pins, user location, and viewport. Process. 1. Determine intent. 2. Ask the navigational question, if needed. 3. Rate each result for relevance. 4. If using Search 2.0, also check name accuracy, category, address, and pin placement. 5. Leave short comments in English for anything below excellent. Example. Query. 357 Western Avenue Suite 1. Result. 357 Western Avenue Suite 2. Rating, good comment. Different unit number, partially satisfies intent. 6. Name accuracy. Name accuracy checks if the business name matches its official, real-world identity. Correct name matches official signage or online presence. Examples. Query. Starbucks Palo Alto result. Starbucks equals correct. Query. Whole Foods Market San Diego result. Whole Foods Market equals correct. Query. Best Buy Manhattan result. Best Buy equals correct. Extra or missing words are not acceptable. Partially correct. Minor. Starbucks instead of Starbucks. Walmart instead of Walmart. Partially correct, moderate. Best Buy Electronic Superstore, instead of Best Buy. Target Supermarket, instead of Target. Incorrect names. Query. Apple Store San Francisco, result. iPhone Shop equals incorrect. Query. Costco Seattle, result. Wholesale Warehouse equals incorrect. Query. Trader Joe's Boston, result. Trader Joe's Grocery Market equals incorrect. Chain Stores, Target, CVS, Walmart, McDonald's use brand name only. Don't include corporate structures, LLC Incorporated, unless it's part of their branding. If you cannot confirm with reliable sources, choose Can't Verify. 7. Address Accuracy. Just like names and pins, addresses must be precise. A complete U.S. address usually contains 1. Street number 2. Street name 3. Unit slash suite 4. City 5. State abbreviation 6. Zip code 7. Country implied in U.S. queries Correct address Query Apple Store Union Square San Francisco Result 300 Post Street San Francisco California 94108 equals correct. Query. White House Washington DC result. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest, Washington, DC 20500 equals correct. Incorrect address examples. 1. Wrong street number, 125 Main Street instead of 123 Main Street. 2. Missing suite, 
505th Avenue without Suite 200. 3. Wrong City, address listed in Oakland instead of San Francisco. 4. Wrong Postal Code, 91011 instead of 91604. 5. Fake slash non-existent addresses. P.O. boxes are not valid map addresses. If a business relocates but keeps its old address incorrect. Formatting differences, street versus ST, are fine. Translating into another language, not acceptable. How to verify. Business's official website. USPS zip code lookup. Trusted directories. Google Business Profile, Yelp, BBB. Government sources for schools, hospitals, etc. If nothing confirms the address, Mark can't verify. Eight, pin accuracy levels. Pin placement is rated in categories. Perfect pin exactly correct on the right building slash entrance. Next door very close maybe one building away. Approximate, in the general area but not close enough to be useful. Wrong, completely misplaced, different city, wrong building, etc. Can't verify insufficient info to confirm. Examples. Empire State Building pin at the entrance equals perfect. Starbucks pin placed one building over equals next door. Costco pin dropped in the shopping plaza, not on store equals approximate. Space needle pinned in Portland equals wrong. Small rural cafe with no online footprint equals can't verify. Best practices. Zoom in closely. Use street view. Double check official sources. Be strict. Don't call a pin perfect if it's slightly off. We've come to the end of this exam slash training. This is a guide to show you what the exam looks like. And if you'd prefer a map evaluation expert to handle your certification exams on your behalf, you'll find a WhatsApp link in the description to connect directly. If this video has been helpful, don't forget to like it and hit subscribe so you'll know when new training videos are uploaded. Bye for now, see you in the next one.